Black Mesa Hazard course for security guard training. I'll be your holographic guide to assist you in your training. Begin by putting on your vest and helmet. You'll find this equipment in the next room. Whenever you see one of these buttons, press it and I'll repeat instructions or show you how things are done. Here you will find your standard armor vest and helmet. These will help protect you against any physical threat you may encounter while performing your duties. When your armor becomes too damaged to be useful, you'll need to find a fresh vest or helmet to protect yourself. Moving around in your armor may be a little tricky at first. Take a moment to get a feel for moving around. The first move you'll need to practice is jumping. You'll have to get over all three of these obstacles. You'll need to duck out of the next set of obstacles. When you crawl and Very good. I hardly noticed you. Move on to the next area. Now, try combining moves. You'll need to jump. Good work. You'll look prepared for the next station. To get into these pipes, you'll need to perform a duck jump. You'll want to stand right at the mouth of the pipe. While moving forward, jump up and hold the jump button to go into a crouch in midair. Nice work. Walk directly into the ladder, look up, and continue moving forward. If you want to climb back down, the next four jumps get more difficult each time. Don't keep trying and you'll get it. If you keep falling short, you may be jumping too soon. Start the lift, walk up to the button and press the use button facing. Now you're up here, there's only one way down. Find the target on the floor below and do your best to hit it. You may take some damage from the fall, but don't worry about it. You'll find medical kits like this one throughout the Black Mesa Research Facility. To restore your health, walk up to a med kit, then press and hold your use key. Your health will recover gradually until you're at full health or until the kit is depleted. Once the light goes out, a med kit cannot be reused. You may also find HEV charging stations such as this one throughout the facility. These stations, however, can only be used by qualified science personnel wearing powered hazardous environment equipment, so they will be inaccessible to you during your duties. Spin that bridge, walk up to the control wheel and press the use key. Great job! Sometimes you'll need to rely on quick reflexes to get around. Try jumping this gap on your own. What you really need to do is push the box down into the pit. Pushing is easy. Just move forward into the box, and you can push it into position. If you can't push an obstacle out of the way, you might try pulling it. To pull a box, move up to it and press your use key. While holding down the use key, move backwards, and the box will be pulled with you.
If you can't push an obstacle out of the way, you might try pulling it. To pull a box, move up to it and press your use key. While holding down the use key, move backwards and the box will be pulled with you. Nothing else works, you can try breaking things to block your path. Pick up the first box and smash your way through the boxes. You'll need to use your flashlight for the next area. Great. Remember, your flashlight will lose power over time, so switch it off when you don't need it. When the flashlight is off, it will recharge itself. Welcome to the Black Mesa Training Target Range. You'll get a chance to fire your weapon, reload, and fire the attached grenade launcher. Collect your equipment and proceed to the firing station. You'll need to hit every target to complete the course. If you miss, don't worry about it. The targets will keep moving until you score ahead. If you want to get through the target as fast as possible, try reloading during pauses instead of letting your gun run out of ammunition the time. To fire the grenade launcher, use the alternate fire button. Some targets can only be fired with grenades. I'll start the sequence in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1.
You'll need to hit every target to complete the course. If you miss, don't worry about it, the targets will keep moving until you manage to score a hit. If you want to get through the target run, try reloading during pauses instead of letting your gun run out of ammunition at a critical time. to hit every target to complete the course. If you miss, don't worry about it. The targets will keep moving until you manage to score a hit. If you letting your gun run out of ammunition at a critical time. Training target range. You may advance to the next area. Your heads up display will let you know when oxygen becomes critical. Critical. That means you'll need to find some clean air to breathe. As you swim through this course, your blood oxygen levels will begin to drop. Swim up to the surface and catch your breath. You regain health lost from holding your breath too long once you've made it to the surface for air. Go ahead and swim on to the next section. Please proceed to the next section. Lead a scientist into the next room. 
he will open the door that leads back into the transit system. To have someone follow you, approach the person and press your Use key. He will then follow you until you face him and press the Use key again. scientist into the next room. He will open the door that leads back into the transit yes, system. Yes, I will follow you to if you wish. someone follow you, approach the person and press your use key. He will then follow you until you face him and press the use key again. Access granted. Press your use key to engage the train. Once engaged, move forward or back to Congratulations on completing the Black Mesa Hazard Course for Security Guards. You're now certified to join the Blue Shift High Security Unit. <laughs>